So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your image in Photoshop. Um, you're going to need like a photograph that's got quite a nice um, silhouette outline to use. Once you've got that open, if you select the pen tool, which is um, down here, or you can just hit P on the keyboard, you then need to select the shape layers option up here at the top. Um, make sure that's on, and then make sure that your colour's um, set to black. And then all you're going to do is draw around the photo, so it might help to zoom in a little bit before you start doing that. And you're just going to draw around the edge of the photo. But what you'll notice is as we start to draw around it, we're going to start to not be able to see, because it's going to start making a shape, um, the actual image itself. So what you want to do is just stop and change the opacity down to about 40 um, until you finish going all the way around. So once you've drawn all the way around the outside, if you put the opacity um, back up, then you'll see your silhouette. So if you just remove the background, you can see you've got your silhouette outline there. Um, then what you're going to need to do is to create a new document. So if you go into File, New, and we're going to create a document that's um, the same size as a kind of CD packaging. So we're going to do 5 by 5 and set it to 300 dpi. And then I'm just going to drag that to one side so that I can see um, both documents and then all you do is just grab your shape layer and drag it into your new document um, and because it's a vector object we'll be able to just resize that to whatever size you want so you can kind of resize this um, and position it so I'm going to leave it to one side because I'm going to make a couple of other um, silhouettes to go with mine but if you just um, place that and then you can get rid of this one um, now that you've done that and then what you're going to do is add a kind of fabric background so it looks a little bit textile-y. Um, so I've got some stuff that's already um, scanned in, some different images and stuff. So I'm just going to grab one of those swatches and drag it into this layer here. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it's just over this image here. Um, and then what you're going to do is create a clipping mask. So if you go into <clears throat> layer and create clipping mask, you'll just see the fabric swatch come through there. And then if you want it to go in different directions and things, you can just position it and kind of alter it so it's going in different directions. So once you've created your fabric swatch, and placed it. Um, we're just going to add a little line around the outside so it looks a little bit more defined. So to do that you just click on your shape layer then click on this little FX button here to get the layer options up and we're just going to click on stroke. So you can see straight away we've got a little black outline going on around the outside so I'm just going to change that. I'm going to have a little um, have a little pink outline around the outside and I'm going to make it um, about 5 pixels so it's quite noticeable and then just click OK and then we've got a nice little outline around the outside as well. OK so I've added a couple of extra silhouettes to mine so I've got three on there um, but now so that it looks more a little bit more like an album cover I'm going to add the text um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of text here saying band obviously you can put in um, the actual band for whatever it is you're doing it for. Um, I'm going to make it quite a large font um, okay. Um, obviously you could just leave it like that but because we're going for quite a stitchy looking kind of effect I'm going to show you how to make a sequin brush tool so that you can um, have a kind of sequin effect going on on your lettering as well. Um, so what you need to do is open up a scan of some sequin. So I've already got one here so I'm just going to drag and open that in Photoshop in a little separate one. Um, and I'm going to make one of these um, sequins into a brush. So the first thing I'm going to do is just crop it off. So I'm going to go for this blue one here. Um, so once I've done that, I'm just going to um, 
duplicate the layer and then just quickly use the magic wand tool to select the background um, and delete it. Um, so you can see we've just deleted the background there. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so we can see it a bit better. Um, once I've done that, I just want to make it a little bit darker so there's a little bit more definition in it. So I'm just going to go into the um, image adjustments and just play around with the levels a little bit so we can get a little bit of um, the sort of definition in like these little lines here coming out a little bit more. Okay, so that should um, do. And once you've done that, all you do is just click Edit, um, Define Brush Presets. So I'm just going to call it Sequin and click OK. And we've made our brush. So now what we can do is go back into our um, silhouette image piece. If we click on the brush tool, we're going to see just down here our Sequin piece here. Um, and then if we create a new layer um, to work on, so we call that our sequin layer. And then go back on the brush tool. So you can see that's quite big at the moment. Um, so we're going to need to probably bring it down to about 40 um, pixels. So that should be quite a nice size. Um, so once you've done that, all you're going to do is stamp around the outline, so we're just going to go over the top of our lettering. So you're just going to click once and stamp it. It might be a little bit difficult to see, so we could just lower um, the opacity. Actually, just zoom in a little bit. So you want to kind of get them going quite close together. Um, and then maybe a little bit of an overlay so that it looks like they're kind of layered on top because that's what it would be like if you were actually stitching them. So it is a little bit time consuming but the end result is going to look pretty good but you've got to go all the way around. Okay, so once you've done that, you can um, just zoom out a little bit. And then if you select your text layer, so mine's the little one that just says band there, and we're just going to trash that. And then you'll see we're left with this kind of quite nice sequin looking thing. But to just finish that off and make it really look like um, a little stitched piece of work, we're going to add in our little stitched lines. So um, to do that, we're just going to select the line tool. Um, and I'm just going to, I've set the weight to 2 pixels, so that should be um, quite a nice kind of um, whip, so it'll look a little bit thread-like. And then we're just going to want to select something that's a little bit lighter, um, or you could maybe select one of your colours from up here, so it looks like you're doing a little stitch line in to match that. And you're going to just go for the sort of middle, because that's where you'd pull it through with the thread. So you're just going to draw a little line from the middle out. Okay, and you're just going to go around and do that on each of them. So it doesn't have to be completely straight and in a completely the same place each time. Because um, that will make it still like, look a little bit more hand um, done if it's got that kind of off, slightly off centre um, stitch going. But you've just got to go all the way around again. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but it isn't as time consuming as it would be uh, to do it by hand. Okay, so there you go, that's all of our stitched little lines um, done. So if we zoom out... Okay, so we're almost finished, but I just want to add one last thing to make our sequins look a little bit shiny, um, so they look a little bit more realistic. So what we're going to do is just click on Filter, Render, and then the Lens Flare options, um, and you'll see this little thing here. So you can change and sort of adjust the brightness up and down. It's just going to add a little bit of, um, as if a little bit of light, a sort of point of light's coming down onto it. So I'm going to put mine just kind of above um, my lettering. So it's just getting a little bit of um, shine kind of coming down upon it. But you can put it like anywhere. So you can put it like in the bottom corner if you want it to be kind of more on one letter or, you know, right on top of them. So kind of have a play around with it and see what you like. But I'm going to put mine kind of up here. 
Okay, so that's it, and that's my finished kind of stitch and sequin effect um, album cover.